All right, people. This here might be the most important video I've ever made on fucking YouTube. This is legitimately, I think, more important than any other video I've made. This changes everything. And I'm going to build this piece by piece and put it together for you. And I'm going to show you step by step. And I'm going to put all the evidence into the description. All right. And you can go look up all this shit yourself if you don't believe me. All right. So for right now, what I want y'all to do is hit that sub button, sit back and listen to what I'm about to tell you because I figured it the fuck out. And I completely understand what's going on. And we're way more fucked than you think. All right. So we're going to check this article out right here. The American Dream, How Undocumented Immigrants Buy Homes in the U.S. Nearly 50,000 orders for deportation have been issued during the first six months that President Donald Trump has been in office. It's a 27.8% increase from the year before, according to the Department of Justice. Those sent back have left behind not just jobs and family, but also their homes, which some of them own. More than 3.4 million undocumented immigrants are homeowners, according to the Migration Policy Institute analysis of the 2014 U.S. Census data. I've checked recently, and these numbers <clears throat> are low, you know what I mean? Because there's more people here, right? It's about 31% of the undocumented population, which is the number I keep coming up with is one in three. So we're going we're gonna to run with 3.4, all right? While some undocumented immigrants pay for their homes in cash, others have been able to attain little-known ITIN mortgages. ITIN stands for Individual Tax Identification Numbers. ITINs were created to enable tax payment by former nationals, foreign nationals who are not eligible for Social Security numbers, but own businesses or assets in the U.S. But since its creation, the program has also been used by undocumented immigrants living in the U.S. Undocumented immigrants can use ITINs to open bank accounts and pay taxes on their U.S. incomes. Altera Home Loans is one of the lenders that provides ITIN mortgages. They have issued about 300 such mortgages. Out of all the ITIN loans that we've done, we've had three loans pay off completely. We've had zero loans default or go delinquent. And Jason Medito, President and CEO of Altera, to take out an ITIN mortgage, borrowers have to save enough money for a 20% down payment. The mortgage is a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, so it doesn't adjust and there's no prepayment penalty. And the ITIN loans usually come with interest rate between 7 and 8%, which is double what it is for everybody else. <sighs> Owning a home is a big dream for undocumented immigrants when they come to this country, Medito said. When Trump was elected, many of them had questions about what impact the new administration might have on their home ownership and futures in the U.S. There's a reasonable amount of concern and fear on the consumer's part, but I will say that a real, a really positive note... We have not seen a decline in the use of the product, Medito said. He points out that residency is not a requirement for real estate ownership in the U.S. The longer undocumented immigrants live in the U.S., the more likely they are to own a home. Back in 2007, 27% of undocumented immigrants who lived in the U.S. less than 10 years on a home. That's compared to 45% who lived outside, who lived in the U.S. 10 years or longer. Right, and here's the figures and whatnot, right? Yo, it just... Yeah. Just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking 68% of legal immigrant households, 70% of normal households, and 45% of illegals actually own a fucking home. I'm I'm gonna show you some terrible things today. <laughs> like, yo. Now I know this is kind of a shit source, but finding news on this is kind of tough, right? But it says Trump ends taxpayer funded mortgages for illegal aliens, right? And there's been double checked. This is kind of the best one with numbers. It's kind of the deal. And that's what we're looking for here is fucking numbers. All right. So when Barack Obama implemented, in, impl implemented his unilateral amnesty for illegal aliens who claim to have entered this country before the age of 16, the illegally amnestied uh, illegals qualified for many benefits. One of these were FHA loans. FHA loans are the government-backed mortgages meant for poor Americans unable to qualify qualify for normal mortgages. Democrat abuse of the FHA helped lead to the Great Recession in the years afterward. FHA, FHA insured loans hit losses of $70 billion. By 2012, the FHA was $16 billion in a hole and had to be bailed out. The delinquency rate for FHA loans is still more than three times higher than normal loans and depending on the period, have hovered between 8 and 14%. 
behind to bring in the illegal aliens. When Obama uh, illegally implemented, implemented DACA, a program exempting certain illegal aliens from government action, they also allowed to apply for FHA loans. How many illegal aliens obtain FHA loan? In December, a letter from three Senate Democrats claimed that HUD barred approximately 800,000 individuals approved for DACA from FHA insured mortgage loans. These refer to the total number of DACA illegal aliens, and it's unknown how many of them have obtained FHA loans in the past years. Ellie Mae's financial tracker estimated the average side of an FHA loan to millennials is 186,000. Potential exposure to illegal alien mortgages could climb as high as high as 150 billion. It's unknown how many illegal aliens have taken out FHA loan, but some media stories have cited loans officers for whom illegal alien FHA loans represent a significant portion of their businesses. <sighs> the Trump administration has applied the brakes of this avalanche of taxpayer insured mortgages to illegal aliens. The Department of Housing and Urban Development had begun notifying lenders that the FHA was no longer in the illegal alien mortgage business. The reasons for common sense DACA illegal aliens or the media spin dreamers were not legal residents and were not being legalized. Under Obama, FHA rules have been bent so far backward that people who were not only not not only non citizens, not only non permanent residents, but weren't even legally here, were having taxpayers guarantee their mortgages. Not only hadn't the Democrats learned anything from the Great Decession, they were determined to make the irresponsible behavior of the FHA a decade ago sober and sensible. And they aren't giving up. In December, a letter by uh, Senator Menendez, who had recently been on trial for corruption charges, Senator Booker, who's uh, watch, uh, yeah, on who's the watch the hundred million poured in the Newark public schools dissipated, and Senator Cortez Mastro, who had accused of being taken dirty money, claimed to be appalled that the Trump administration would exploit a federal government program to deny Dreamers an opportunity of owning their own home. <clears throat> this is all about funding for local governments that are broke because they don't have anybody to pay for their fucking shit anymore. The Ponzi scheme does not have enough people at the bottom to keep the fucking money funneling into the top. That's all this really is. All right. And I'm going to fucking show and prove all of this as we go the fuck through. Today's article delved in the bizarre world of taxpayer funded illegal alien mortgages. If you thought the abuses that led to the recession was bad, this is something else entirely. Taxpayers are on the hook for mortgages for illegal aliens who could be deported. It is unknown how many illegal aliens have taken out FHA loans, but some media stories have cited loan officers for whom illegal alien FHA loans uh, represent a significant portion of their business. Right? The Trump administration has applied to brace the avalanche of taxpayer insured mortgages for illegal aliens. The Department of Housing and Urban Development has begun notifying lenders that the FHA is no longer an illegal alien mo uh, mortgage business. The reasons were common sense. DACA illegal aliens or media spin. Dreamers are not legal residents and weren't being legalized. Fannie Mae, however, is making it clear that the that it is in the illegal alien mortgage business. <laughs> and while the FHA appears to be turning its back on Dreamers, Fannie Mae announced last week that its policy surrounding DACA borrowers and other non-citizens has not changed. Adding it will back mortgages for Dreamers as long as a certain lending criteria are met. We have a long-standing policy on eligibility for non-citizen uh, U.S. non-U.S. citizen borrowers. Fannie Mae presents and securitizes mortgages to non-citizens who are lawful permanent or non-permanent residents in the United States under the same terms available to U.S. citizens. The government-sponsored enterprise said in the uh, lender bulletin posted on Friday. According to Fannie Mae, a borrower is legally present in the U.S. if that borrower has a Social Security number or an individual taxpayer. Identif the identification number to item. Remember, we just talked about this and has current verified status, which may be documented by a valid employment authorization document. Dreamers would qualify <clears throat> under with category C33 status or other documentation showing immigration status as a current green card, work visa, etc. The DACA recipients are not legally present in the United States. They are by definition people who have entered this country illegally and remain here illegally. Fannie Mae needs a fucking house cleaning. You're goddamn right. Okay. All right. While we're here, let's get into this. This is an actual advertisement webpage for one of these uh, fucking mortgage loan off people, right? This is a mortgage company that actually sells these fucking loans. 
So I wanted to actually show you what the situation was and what they advertised to illegal immigrants. The Eiden Mortgage Foreign National Loans, the Midwest Equity Court Mortgage LLC, is proud to launch a new individual tax identification number mortgage product that is now available to foreign nationals and immigrants. Eiden Mortgage Loans are for those who do not have a social security number. If you've been issued at Eiden and are a resident or non-resident alien, and you may be eligible for a home loan and should contact Midwest Equity Mortgage. If you immigrated or find it difficult to find a lender that can help achieve home ownership, we have a solution where neither citizenship or social security number are required. To apply for a mortgage using your ITIN number, call us or apply online today and ask about the ITIN mortgage. Call 866-906-4647, complete our secure online application or contact us for more information. With an ITIN mortgage, you need two government, a U.S. government ID card, a matricular consular ID or passport, two years employment in the same or similar line of work can be salaried or self-employed, two years tax returns using their ITIN number, not a hard money loan, flexible credit requirements, alternate form of credit documentation such as utilities and phone bills are okay. Past credit events such as bankruptcies or foreclosures are okay. No social security card or number required. Legal status not required. Available to non-citizens. Considerations. As a higher down payment is required, higher cost than conventional rates. Legal status not required and available to non-citizens. Purchase a home. Take pride in a huge step towards the American dreams. Midwest Equity Mortgage and the Eiton Mortgage can help you turn your dreams into reality. Our experienced mortgage professionals will find an amazing home loan options available to help you buy the home you've always wanted. Explore your home loan options. We will help you choose the right mortgage and terms that work for you. Get approved today. Eiton Mortgage Facts. Right? And see, like, yeah, they go through all this fucking bullshit, whatever. But I wanted to show you that this is a fucking thing. All right? All right, here is just some basic numbers. Um, this is the demographics of immigrants in the United States. All right, unauthorized population. Okay, this is unauthorized population in the United States. So this is all the illegals. All right, we got 11.3 million. That's an estimate. All right, I think it's double that, but whatever. Right. Um, top countries: Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, China, China, and Honduras. Right, see the vast majority are from Mexico. All right, regions of birth: Mexico, Central America. Blah 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 blah. Years of U.S. residents. Right. Um, and I mean everybody who's here five to nine. So you're talking about fucking almost everybody is here more than five years who are is here right now for the most part. It's like twenty percent has just recently got here the past five years. Um, age sixteen to twenty-four and over. Right is pretty much everybody it's only seven percent of people are under the age of 16. gender female 5.2 million uh populations ages 15 or older estimate 10.6 uh 10.6 million right and this is all just nonsense whatever we don't really care about this what we care about is this number here home ownership 3.799 million that's 3.8 million <sighs> let's go to some other fucking numbers Okay, so I did the math, all right? I think it's important that we always do the math. We always do the fucking math. It's important that we do the goddamn math. All right, so I took 3.8 million times 200,000, all right? That's 760 billion in initial principle, 200,000. Uh, the average price of a millennial mortgage is 185,000. So I took it out to 200,000 just to make it an even goddamn number, right? So then what I did was is I took 200,000 times uh, the fucking APR rate for 30 fucking years. So that actually shows like how big the mortgage debt really is, right? And it came out to 650,000 being totally paid off the third year, third, uh, three year mortgage, right? So then I took the 3.8 million times 650,000. I came up with 2 trillion 470 billion. That is the size of the illegal immigrant mortgage market. All right? That's 2 trillion 470 billion. Now, here's the real question. How big is the American fucking mortgage debt? All right? American mortgage debt 
in 2018 quarter one was 8.94 trillion all right now what percentage would 2.4 trillion dollars be of 8.9 trillion that would be 27 percent of all fucking mortgages are due to fucking illegal immigration we have created a problem where if we kick these motherfuckers out we're going to end up owing massive amounts of money and we're going to crash the goddamn financial system Congratulations, all right? Wall Street has literally just fucked Main Street again. And not only did they do that, they actually made a bigger problem because now that these individuals own fucking homes, they're paying property taxes. And now that they're paying property taxes, you go, wait, what? why is the property tax an issue? Because they're the only people propping up property taxes. So you're going to have places like New Jersey, which is massively in debt. If you haven't seen my pension crisis videos, look them up. They're there. You should check them out. They're most definitely worth a watch. All right. It got so bad in Illinois that the Powerball lottery left because they were handing out IOUs to the fucking lottery winners. Yeah. See, things are way worse than you think. So... When you have these fucking Democratic candidates out here fucking going, hey, man, we need to you know, speak to Mexicans and they're speaking Mexican language and shit to them and all this stuff. The reason isn't because they want new voters. The reason is, is because they pay their fucking salary. That's something you don't understand. That's something that nobody knows about and nobody's talking about. You ask all these fucking conservatives, like, if you just cut the welfare off, well, you know, fucking, they'll go home on their own and self-deport. No the fuck they won't. They own homes here. They're paying taxes here. They're insured by fucking government money on their fucking mortgages here. They can't leave now. This is a much bigger problem that we've created than we can even deal with. Like, on some reality shit. We can't deal with this anymore. There's nothing we can do. And the thing is, is it's, it's not going to crash. Because they're not going to let it crash. They're going to keep this Ponzi scheme a-going. Unless we upset the fucking table. That's the reality of where we are right now. I just wanted y'all to know what the situation really fucking was. Tom P. from Pinoid News. Make sure you hit that sub button. Peace.